Cal OSHA Agriculture Safety Orders Title 8 Group 3, Subchapter 3, Section 3441B. And that language states, a all self-propelled equipment shall at all times be under the control of an operator. 1977, that was codified into law. 47 years ago, what do you think was the motivation behind that? That regulation from the 70s started in the 60s when everybody realized, oh my gosh, you know, what farmers are doing back then is you had manual transmissions, you'd put the tractor in gear, you'd have a trailer on the back of the tractor, you basically then pop the clutch, put it in first gear, set the throttle, and jump off the tractor, and then load the melons on the trailer or pick the potatoes onto the trailer or feed the cows hay off the trailer or, you know, whatever cultivating equipment you had, you would then, you know, collect things around it. So you would be able to do, you know, the work of two by jumping off the tractor. That's what farmers did is they, they took that chance. So finally, you know, the regulators got together and said, hey, look, we can't have these tractors operating without a human on the vehicle. And that's the genesis of the original regulations, which actually made sense. Like the regulators were smart. What's happened though since then is that has evolved to saying, well, it's just like an autonomous tractor. It's not. There's a driverless tractor, which is what that regulation, regulation is all about. And then there's an autonomous tractor. If you put a human in the tractor, you now have a brain controlling it. If you put a computer in the tractor, you now have a brain controlling it. So driverless is not autonomous. Driverless is just, it's on its own and you can hit a rock and turn to the left and you know, you're about to jump on and voila, 